Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to take a look at the SAGPT model. So this is basically a platform and tool that you can use to create 100% human essays and research papers. So we're just going to dive into it directly. We're going to take a look at the different tools, also depending on your level, if you're junior, high school student, university, college, and so on. We're going to look at all the options and see how we can use it to write essays, make ourselves more efficient, do research, and also get correct citations with chatbots. So let's just jump straight into the SAGPT platform. Over here to the left, we can see we both have a generator, a writer, and also the scholar chat, which are the three main features that we're going to take a look at, but they also have a ton other tools. So first of all, we have the generator mode. It is a bit more focused on non-college students. So it's more uh, juniors and also high school students where you can use that to generate essays because that really depends on your level. Is you're in a university writing research papers or writing essays in high school. So you can have it write different types of essays. It could be detailed, narrative, or even just simple essays that you can come up with and then you can use it. You can go back and forth and make modifications as well. So that's the generator tool. We also have the writer tool, but let's now go and take a look at the generator. So right now we need to go in and describe our topic. We can choose the essay type. So basic, descriptive, narrative, perservative, or comparative here. We can also choose the number of words here. So right now, uh, write me an essay about the impact of AI on the world. Right now, let's just choose 500 to 800 words. Language here will be English, but you can choose between all of these languages here, and it's going to generate humanized essays, which can be detected by other AI models. So right now we have this undetectable mode. If we take a look at the different AI detected tools, we have all of them here, but we're also going to manually verify it just to make sure. And it even bypasses Turnitin, Originality AI, GPT-0, and all of those. It's going to run the checks in here, but you can also run them on your own end. So if you're a high school student, junior, in your version, and so on, we have this Turnity, which is also undetectable from that. So yeah, let's just go and check this undetectable mode off. We can have one click generation or we can generate titles. Right now, let's just go in and we'll do one click generation and it should act like just write the essay for us. So we have the research over here to the right. We also have the scholar chat, which we're going to take a look at in just a second, but it basically just connects your chatbots with act like research, research papers. So you can use that to do your own research, but also to get reliable resources and references. If you're just using the chat GPT tools, LLMs, all the different LLMs out there, like they're easily hallucinating. So it's just going to generate some random stuff. It's going to just figure out something, write some articles, write some titles, write some papers, references, and so on, which doesn't really exist out there. So that is why this scholar chat is very important. So right now we can see that we have these checks. It is running that directly from here, but we can also go in and do the manual verification. So right now we just have our essay here, the evolving impact of artificial intelligence on the world. And then we have this 500 to 800 words over here to the right. We can go in and do research based on 200 million papers in this database. We have the scholar chat. You can chat with it. You can even ask it questions about this one here or have it find references specifically for your research paper or essay that you're writing. So let's just copy paste this text for the essay writer with the generator. Let's just copy it and let's now go in and just throw through all the different AI detectors. We have originality AI. We're just copy pasting directly the essay into it. We hit scan now. While it's scanning, let's just go in and throw it into all the other detectors. So we have GPT-0. There we go. And let's go in and do the exact same thing for copy leaks. We do a scan. We can do it with zero GPT as well. There we go, detect text, and then we'll go back to it in just a second. We also have content at scale. All of these checks will also run inside of SAGPT, but it's always a good practice to just go in and manually verify it as well. So start content scan. Let's go in and do a quick scan. There we go, scan the text. And that's pretty much it. We're manually verifying it now. Let's now go back to originality AI and take a look at the results. So we've already got the results here from Winston AI. 99% human generated. It doesn't flag anything at as AI generated here. So we basically just have an essay that is passing in here. Let's go back to originality AI, 99% originality, 1% AI. It doesn't really flag anything. So that is very good. And if we go inside GPT-0 again, we can see it is pretty much all human written or at least classified as human generated. And if we go a bit further down, we can see that zero out of 18 sentences are likely AI generated. Inside copy leaks here, 0% AI generated content, 100%
humanized text. If you go inside the other ones, again, we can see here we have around 93% that this is human written. So it classifies that human written content at scale. It passes as a human. So all of the detectors, we manually just went in, verified them that it worked. So yeah, let's go now go back again and take a look at some of the other functions that we have. So we have the essay writer. This is pretty good for non-college students. If you just want to write some really basic essays, you have different variations as well. So the writer tool here is mainly aimed for college and graduate students. Right now we just go in here, we have the paper and then we can just go in and generate some content. So again, let's just ask it to generate um, a description, generate a description. about the transformer architecture. Let's just throw it in here directly. It's going to generate the text, but we can also go in and rephrase this if you have your own research papers and so on. If we just take my master here, we can just go in and take, for example, the abstract. So right now I'm just going to copy paste it or let's try to take something a bit more detailed. So let's go down to the transformer, the transformer model parameters. And then we, let's just copy paste this section. There we go. We can throw it into the tool. So if you're already write, writing your research papers, you can upload them in here. You can share them. You can use all the functionality. You can even write them in here. So that is also a pretty cool option. But right now, I'm basically just taking a snippet of my research paper that I did for my masters. You can throw it in here. We can value. We can mark some text, and then we can ask the AI to rephrase it, or maybe just specify some more details. So right now, let's just try to make it rewrite all of it. So right now we can just choose any of these ones here that we want to use. We can rewrite, summarize. So again, we can use it for research as well. If you have research papers that you want to summarize, go through faster. You can also use the tool for that. So right now we're just asking it to rewrite it. So first of all here, we can just replace the section. It's going to paste it in here instead. So this is how we can use this writer tool. We can take the text, throw it into all the other detectors again, and it will basically show it as human generated. So this is a pretty cool tool. If you want to get some ideas, rephrase some, rephrase some stuff and make yourself more productive. Over here to the right, we can use the scholar chat, which is also pretty cool. So let's just take a look at that. So right now, for example, here are there any studies of the benefits of plant-based diet? So that is one of the examples. So let's try to see, we have the paper now. Let's try to see if we can find some references, which is relevant that we can maybe use uh, for citations. This tool here can also like basically find all the papers, do the citation for you instead of all the other tools out there, which is basically just hallucinating, coming up with random references. So find papers, which are relevant to the transformer architecture. There we go. Let's now throw it into the scholar chat. So right now it's basically just going to retrieve information from a large database with over 200 million papers. These are actually like published papers and not just something that it's coming up with by itself. So we have one layer normalization in the transform architecture. We have the swin transformer, advancing transform architecture in long context, large language models and so on. So again, we can go through it. We can even come with, with add-ons here. So we can just rephrase it. We can add it to our editor. So right now, if we come up with these references, we just want to create a reference at the end. It takes a lot of time to do that. So this tool can help you with that. So right now, let's now go down. We can also chat with a file. You can upload PDF documents, different types of documents, and then you can chat with them directly. So it's a rack based system, but also a web page that you can connect directly. So right now, let's just go over here. We can bypass the AI detection if you want to make sure of that before you copy it into your essay writer. Copy the text, but right now, let's just throw it back into our editor. So now we have actually like just thrown into it here. You can also use a research if you're writing notes, just want to find something relevant with the scholar chat. You can also do that. But now we have just created our reference list. We can add to it. We can delete some of the parts and we can also go over and specify if you want more or something a bit more specific. So after we have all of this inside of our paper, we're writing the documentation and so on, we can then go up and basically just have it bypass the AI detection models. So it's going to go in to Hicks AI's website. We already have a video for that. So definitely check that out. So let's now just take the text, throw it into the Hicks AI bypass model, throw it into it here. And it's basically just going to humanize it. It's not going to change the context of your text, but it understands what you're trying to do. It understands your text and then it goes in and humanizes this. So this is pretty cool. We have a whole video dedicated for that. We can now see that it is pretty much bypassing or it is bypassing all the different AI detectors down here at the bottom. 
So if you now go back again, we have the Hicks Scholar Chat. We went through that. We had the Rider and the Generator. They also have a bunch more tools. We won't go into details with that, but you can have like Essay Extender. You can generate, you can go in and make modifications to your existing essays. Okay, so another feature that I want to show you guys is this research tab where we can go in and find citations from 200 million papers, directly import them, cite them in our own papers. When you're doing this, when you're finding references, when you're citing papers and so on, it takes a huge amount of time. But this tool here, this research tool can help you reduce the time significantly. So right now, let's just go in and search for attention. Let's try to find the attention is all you need paper because we want to cite that in our writing here. So here we can see that we pretty much just get it up at the top. Then we can just go down and hit the cite button. If we go over here and specify where do we want to cite it, we can have a reference section at the end and we can just hit cite. It's going to generate the whole citation and also the reference list by itself. So yeah, this is how easy it is. It's also going to make the reference directly inside the text. So you no need to take care of any of that. We can also take the graph attention and then it's basically just going to swap it out or we can go to another place and then just cite it there and it's going to add it to the reference list at the end. So this tool here pretty much covers any level out there. If you're a high school student, college student, graduate student, if you're a researcher, writing research papers, you just want to make yourself a bit more productive, get help on the sideline, maybe do some research. So this tool here should definitely not be used for just like taking all the work from you, not doing your assignments or homework and just have AI models write all of it for you. But you can definitely use it for inspiration, rephrase some stuff here and there. And also what I would recommend to use it for doing research. So instead of just reading through all the research papers out there, like take some, write notes to it, have the GPT model, all the chat bottles in here and also the scholar chat help you with understanding the context maybe rephrasing it maybe explaining it to you in a easier way so here we see all the other tools definitely go in and check it out there will be a link down in the description so they have the essay outline generator if you just want to have a rough outline that we can use as a baseline we can rewrite essays if we have some of our own generator the extenders so if you want to extend your essays Go in and take a look at it. We can even generate abstracts based on our research papers. So definitely check it out. So thanks a lot for watching this video here, guys. Again, I want to make clear that this shouldn't be used for cheating, but making yourself more productive, figuring out best way how to use AI. And then again, use it to research, find resources, connect them together. So thanks a lot for watching this video here. I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming ones. Until then, happy writing. If you want to get into an AI career, you should definitely check out my AI career program. The program is basically all my experiences from how I went from an average student to where I am today. The program consists of three main categories. We have my technical courses, my personal branding course, and then the AI career path. We have a whole community in there with like-minded people supporting each other. And every week we will have weekly live calls where I support and help all of you guys. Over time, more courses, resources, code templates, and so on will be added to the program. You will give lifetime access. So the sooner you join, the more value you will get for your money. Let me help you take your AI career to the next levels.